Good morning all, Julian's reviews are back and uh, today I'm going to kick off with this through night flashlight it's the T10 version 2 it comes in this nice tin and inside instructions, thank you card, silica gel some nicely greased o-rings if you need to replace the ones on the flashlight a clip, a belt or clothing clip and the flashlight so here it is, it's the Through Night T10 version 2. And it has a magnetic tail cap, so it sticks to bits of metal like that. Now this flashlight has a Cree XP G3 LED and it can actually throw out 550 lumens when driven by a 750 milliamp hour 14500 lithium battery or 180 lumens when it's driven by a 2450 milliamp hour AA nickel metal hydride or alkaline battery. So I have both in my Stinger charger. I've got an AA Eneloop nickel metal hydride and I've also got this EFEST uh, IMR 14500 lithium which is 650 milliamp hours. Right let's start by unscrewing the body and putting in the AA Eneloop nickel metal hydride, nominally 1.2 volts, and see what we get from that. Now the instructions say we should get these numbers here, uh, Firefly, half a lumen, high 180 lumens. Let's give it a try. Right, I've dimmed the lights, let's press and hold from the off state, and we get Firefly, half a lumen. Yeah, that looks about right. 49 days runtime at half a lumen in Firefly mode. Right, press the switch to switch on and we get low and medium. And the two lumen numbers for those are 5 lumens low, 35 lumens medium. Double press the button and we get high. High is 180 lumens and that will run for 95 minutes. Now strobe warning, double click again and we get strobe. Now let's switch on, look at the difference between medium, which is that, 35 lumens, double click, and we get high, 180 lumens. Okay, let's switch to the lithium cell. And we're able to switch between uh, a nickel metal hydride and a lithium cell because this torch will take anything from 0.9 volts right up to 4.2 volts. Right, let's put this EFEST uh, lithium 14500 cell into the torch and see how we go. Let's dim the blinds. Now the first thing you notice is if I press and hold Firefly is much brighter, much more like low when using the nickel metal hydride cell. And I can switch from Firefly to low just by holding the button in. That's brighter than low when you're using the nickel metal hydride cell. Press and hold again and we get high, uh, medium actually, we get medium and uh, now double click and we get high but there isn't much difference between medium which I can do by switching it on and high when I double click so the numbers using the lithium cell have all changed so the lithium cell is great if you want the brightest modes let's go into high but it's not so good if you want the dimmest modes firefly firefly in with the lithium cell is actually quite bright. Now what else can we see? Knurled grip and um, we've got anti-roll flats here. It does roll a bit and it says in the instructions orange peel reflector but that looks pretty smooth to me. Let's have a closer look. Yeah I'm thinking that looks like a very smooth reflector. If that is orange peel well it's very smooth. Now what else have we got? Impact resistance to 1.5 meters drop. Uh, it's also IPX uh, waterproof to 2 meters. Hmm, let's give that a try. Right, switch it on, drop it in the water. Oh, that's very bright. And I've no doubt that's going to be absolutely fine underwater pretty much indefinitely. So I think this is a pretty decent everyday carry torch. It takes a very small cell. You might want to carry both types of cell though to get all the different 
uh, brightness levels. It's slightly smaller than the uh, Phoenix E11 and it's considerably smaller than the LED lenser, that's the magnet at work, uh, M5. Yeah, I give this one a thumbs up. Cheerio.